Hello and thank you for watching today's unboxing and assembly video. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and assembling the EasyGo Deluxe. It's a portable power wheelchair by Merit's Health. It weighs only 113 pounds when fully assembled, but you can take it apart and the heaviest piece only weighs 54 pounds. I'm going to leave the spec sheet here on the screen so you can see the difference in specifications between the Deluxe version and the standard version. The Deluxe version is able to hold 50 more pounds with a maximum weight capacity of 300 pounds and a range of 12 miles with a top speed of 4 miles per hour. Feel free to go back to this spec sheet at any time as we get started with the unboxing and assembly process. When you order this power wheelchair, you will receive it on a pallet with pallet straps. You'll want to cut those with a box cutter. Open the lid and be careful with the staples on the lid. They are sharp. Once you're done opening the lids of the box, you'll see that there are a lot of different boxes packaged up neatly. Go ahead and take out each box one at a time carefully and put them to the side. Be very careful with the box that contains the joystick controller that has a metal pole sticking out of the box. Go ahead and grab the chair by the base and the top of the backrest and make sure to remove all of the protective plastic sheeting that's surrounding the backrest and the bottom part of the chair. Once you do that, just go ahead and put the chair to the side and make room so that we can get the base out of the box. There is a lot of packaging in the box. You'll want to go ahead and remove that packaging and put it to the side. You may be able to carry the power wheelchair base out of the box on your own by using the handle on the footrest and the provided handle on the rear. Or you can push down the button right near the handle and that'll separate the rear from the front half. And that's a lot easier because the heaviest piece is only going to weigh 54 pounds. So go ahead and take the rear out and then take out the front part which is separated, and then go ahead and just remove the protective plastic sheeting from the foot plate. Foot plate does fold up and down, and to connect the rear to the front again, you'll want to look out for the two hooks that rest right on top of the main bar of the rear. And just drop it right on. It's very easy to take apart and put back together. Again, there's that little spring-loaded button that you put your thumb on right in front of that black handle on the rear half to disconnect and reattach the rear from the front. Next thing we're doing is grabbing the joystick and unboxing it carefully. The joystick is delicate. Be very careful with it. You don't want to damage it. And what we're going to do now is just continue to unbox the rest of the components, such as the charger, which we're unboxing now. You'll want to go ahead and remove the charger from the bubble wrap bag that it's located in. And then go ahead and put that to the side and continue to unpackage the rest of the components, like the armrests and the armrest 90 degree brackets, which you'll need to attach the actual armrest pads to. And we'll show you how to do that in just a moment. It also comes with a seat belt. And again, just put all that to the side and then we'll go ahead and get started with the seat. The seat installs pretty easily. You just wanna make sure you line up that bottom part of the chair with the male connection and just slide it right into the female connection on the seat post. You'll need to wiggle the chair a little bit to slide it down. And once it's all the way down, you'll feel that it's all the way in and secure. The next thing we're going to do now is grab the 90 degree armrest brackets. They will slide into the sleeves located on the back part of the seat. You'll see these tension adjustment knobs which we're loosening here so that we can slide the 90 degree rail into the sleeve. Once it's in, tighten that knob and rinse and repeat on the other side. Now that you have both of the 90 degree brackets for the armrests in, you may want to go ahead and skip to the next part of the video where we install the seat belt by using the chapter options on the player for this YouTube video. If you want to install the seat belts, you want to do it at this point, but it's not too hard to do it in the future. Go ahead and keep watching. It's not a big deal. You'll notice on the back of the armrest, there's a set of clips on each side next to the tension adjustment knobs, and that's for the joystick cable. Go ahead and connect that cable to one of the clips. If you're going to mount the joystick on the right-hand side, use the right-handed clip. If you're going to use the left-handed armrest to mount your joystick, use the left-handed clip. We're going to show you now how to install the armrest pads. So go ahead and drop the rail into the sleeve on the top part of the 90-degree bracket and use the tension adjustment knobs to set the height at a point that feels comfortable for you or the user. Now that we have the armrest pads installed, we're going to go ahead and install the joystick. We're going to use the right-handed armrest, but you can do it on the left hand. Each armrest comes with the tension adjustment knob and the bracket for the joystick. Go ahead and slide the joystick rail into the sleeve and tighten the tension adjustment knob. At this point, you want to go ahead and secure the cable. At this point, you want to go ahead and plug in 
the harness from the joystick cable into the receiving harness that comes out of the base. Here we're just separating each of the Velcro straps that are used to secure the cable to the armrest rails. And as you can see, there's really not much to it here. You just wanna make sure that that cable is nice and secure and out of the way so that it doesn't get pinched on anything as you're driving around. So we're gonna go ahead and put one of the straps at the corner where the 90 degree angle meets the armrest pad. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the cable is not too far out and just use those provided clips on the backside next to the tension adjustment knobs to keep them secure. At this point, we're gonna show you how to install the seat belt. All you have to do is remove the armrest pads and put the loops on each end of the seat belt strap around the 90 degree armrest rail. Then go ahead and reattach the armrest pad by tightening that tension adjustment knob for each of the brackets. Rinse and repeat on the other side and you'll have the seat belt installed in no time. Now we're going to show you how the charger works. There are some little twist ties around the power cable for the wall and around the cable for the XLR barrel connector. Make sure you plug the wall outlet cable into the battery box. And once you plug the wall outlet into the wall, you'll notice the red button lights up on the power indicator. The joystick has a port for the battery chargers XLR barrel connector. It's a silver barrel connector. Just plug it right in and you'll notice the charger lights up on the secondary light. When you go to turn on the power wheelchair, if it starts beeping, that's because the unit comes with the brakes disengaged when it comes out of the box. So go ahead and engage the automatic brakes by pushing that red lever towards the front and then the secondary lever that's located underneath the shroud on the rear has to be in the upward position. So make sure that the two levers are in the right place and then repower the joystick and it should work as intended. You'll notice that there is a battery meter, just like most power wheelchairs, as well as a horn and a speed control button to raise and lower the speed. Overall, this power wheelchair is very comfortable for someone like myself that's about six foot, 210 pounds. It maneuvers very well, it's very quiet, and because it has the automatic brakes, it's very, very safe. It has, again, a top speed of four miles per hour. The foot plate does flip up and out of the way, and in the rear, there is a universal one inch accessory port, which you can use to put in oxygen tanks, baskets, and many other accessories. There's also anti-tip wheels in the back and the seat folds down. Overall, we highly recommend this power wheelchair. We offer it for sale tax-free and shipping is free at mobilitydirect.com. Please like the video, drop a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna get notified when new videos come out just like it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.